can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given these two equations, x raised to the power of logarithm of y plus y raised to the power of logarithm of x equals 2. And x raised to the power of logarithm of x plus y raised to the power of logarithm of y equals 11. Then the goal is to find x and the value of y. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given these two equations, the goal is to find the values of x and y that satisfies this equation. So to answer this, let's get the first equation and let's focus on the first term, x raised to the power of logarithm of y. Because in this video, we will show you the proof that b raised to the power of logarithm of a is equal to a raised to the power of logarithm of b. So this is a very short proof. So first, let b raised to the power of logarithm of a be equal to k. And then what we're going to do is to take the logarithm of both sides. Then using some loss of logarithm on the left-hand side, we can put this logarithm of a in the front. And then what we're going to do since multiplication is commutative, we can switch their position. And then again, using some properties of logarithm, this logarithm of b, we can put this to the exponent of a. And we can say that a raised to the power of logarithm of b is equal to k also. Therefore, b raised to the power of logarithm of a is equal to a raised to the power of logarithm of b because they are both equivalent to k. And that's the end of the proof. So we will use this concept to answer this question. So we have the case number one. Case number one, replace y raised to the power of logarithm of x with its equivalent x raised to the power of logarithm of y. So on the left-hand side, we have two same term. Then divide both sides by two. Now, since the right-hand side is equivalent to one, we can say that the exponent of x is just zero. So logarithm of y equals zero. And when this happens, logarithm of y equals zero, it follows that y equals one. So in the first case, y equals 1. So how about the value of x? So to solve for the value of x, we will use the second equation. And now, if y equals 1, this term, y raised to the power of logarithm of y, is just 1. Subtract 1 on both sides, we have 10. And then what we're going to do is to get the logarithm on both sides. Now take note, logarithm of 10 is just 1. And using some loss of Logarithm on the left-hand side, we have logarithm of x times logarithm of x equals 1. And if we multiply this, we have logarithm of x raised to the power of 2. Now get the square root on both sides. We get that logarithm of x is equivalent to positive or negative 1. Now, if logarithm of x equals positive 1, x is equivalent to 10. And when logarithm of x equals negative 1, x is just 1 over 10. So, if y equals 1, x equals 10, or x equals 1 over 10. Therefore, we found two pairs of x and y in this case. So the first one is 10 comma 1, and the second is 1 over 10 comma 1. So now, let's have the second case. Wherein, we need to replace x raised to the power of logarithm of y with y raised to logarithm of x, which is its equivalent. And what we're going to do here is to replace this. Now we have two similar terms on the left-hand side. And then divide both sides by 2 again. Next, y raised to the power of logarithm of x equals 1. It follows that logarithm of x is 0. Then x is just 1. So if x equals 1, using the second equation, we can say that x raised to the power of logarithm of x is just 1. Now subtract 1 on both sides. And then... Again, take the logarithm of both sides, and logarithm of 10 is 1, and this is on the left-hand side, logarithm of y raised to the power of 2. Get the square root on both sides, we have logarithm of y equals positive or negative 1. It follows that y is also equivalent to 10 or 1 over 10. So again, in this case, we found two pairs of x comma y, which is 1 comma 10 or 1 comma 1 over 10. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given these two equations, 
x raised to the power of logarithm of y plus y raised to the power of logarithm of x equals 2. And x raised to the power of logarithm of x plus y raised to the power of logarithm of y equals 11. Then we found four valid solutions for x comma y. So we have 10 comma 1, 1 over 10 comma 1, 1 comma 10, and 1 comma 1 over 10. And as always, we are done.